Hello, my name is Brianne Washington and I will be telling you about my study today. My study is titled Buckaloos Girls, a, a study on performance between experienced and novice rowers. Now in this study, the, a novice rower is a rower that is attending the University of Charleston um, and has not rowed both the fall and spring season. <clears throat> within the university. Now, an experienced rower has at least rowed one season of the fall and one season of the spring, in the spring, um, within the University of Charles. Uh, I got interested in crew when I was in 10th grade. I have been rowing since 10th grade and now I am a senior in college. Unfortunately, uh, due to my back problems, I am not rowing anymore. However, this study has uh, helped me get back within the rowing team. So let me tell you about my topic. Uh, just a disclaimer, um, there was no, there is no deception being used. The participants already know uh, what the study is about. There is no use in trying to use deception. So after consent forms are collected, uh, the participants will be placed into two groups if they are novice or ex an experienced rower. Now before, <clears throat> before they start rowing, each wo woman is required to partake in a five to 10 minute uh, warm up followed by stretching to prevent injury. Um, once the women are in their novice and experienced groups, I will be making subgroups within those groups. Uh, the subgroups are whether a woman, a participant is going to row on the ergometer or the rowing simulator. Once those groups are made, uh, I will put um, each woman on their respected mach rowing machine. Um, they will row 1,000 meters at a slide rate of 24. Uh, I will be recording their technique and I will be looking at their split time. A split time shows how, uh, how fast or how uh, the amount of time it takes for a rower to row 500 meters. I chose 1,000 meters uh, because 500 meters isn't wouldn't be enough and 2,000 meters is would be too much for this study they will be doing it twice a day um, I didn't want to tire them out or anything like that so a thousand meters that's why a thousand meters was chosen after they row a thousand meters um, we'll wait until everyone is done and then I will show them a video on their respective machine so for example if a participant is on an ergometer, they will be watching a video on ergometers and how to utilize them and how to use them to their advantage. Uh, after viewing the video, I will again put each woman on their respected machine and they will row 1,000 meters and have a split time of, or uh, excuse me, have a slide rate of 24. I will be looking at their technique and their split times. Um, I hypothesize that uh, the rowing, uh, I'm not sure which one, but I'm pretty sure uh, one of the rowing mechanisms will enhance performance and behavior. Uh, that is my study and I am excited. I hope to start this study in January, early January. Um, that is when uh, the spring season starts, so I'm very excited about this study.